Hi, I'm the Woodpecker today. I'm at the cottage and I'm changing this TV over here. Ah, but the important thing is how I made the support that holds it to the wall. More than six years ago, in my 11th episode, I made in my old basement workshop a small TV support that I even installed at the cottage. We're still watching it. But this year, I found on the classified a bigger TV set. It's now time to remove the small one, install the new support I made, and put the new TV on it. Uh, Maybe you're interested to know how I made it. The first thing I do is find some hardwood flooring glue apps I had lying around. I make sure it's wider than the space between the mounting holes and cut to square pieces. Since it's square, it's easy to mark the placement of the holes. When I'm done, I make sure they're well defined. I'll drill both squares at the same time. To do that, I use double stick tape to keep them together while I drill the holes. Next, just for the look, and also because the router bit was already in the router table, I route a round over on both pieces. But before going any further, <laughs> I need to modify all the bolts I bought. Ah, maybe you're like me and have a hard time finding matrix bolts. So I use what I can find and make it fit. So I'll add threads to the bolts and cut part of them. When I'm done, I can try the back plate in place. <laughs> Perfect. Now I need to take care of the other part. The first thing to do is to chamfer all the holes. I also need some sort of a hinge between both wood squares. I begin by cutting four strips to the same width from some scrap pieces of plywood. I stick them together, trace a half circle, and drill a hole in the center. Next, with my nice mensa, I cut up to the line. Okay, the blade is a bit too wide for this circle, uh, but it doesn't matter. I finish it with the sander. Now I need to glue two of those to the back plate. I trace where I want them to be and drill three holes on each side. After chamfering the holes, I can mark where the pilot holes should be and drill them. Now it's time to glue and screw this together. I temporarily screw the hinge, mark for one hole on each side and drill pallet holes. Next, I can spread glue and screw the first two screws. Next comes the rest. And with this last screw, the TV support is done. Ah, 
not too complicated. The last thing I do, which is not really necessary, is to spread some black dye on it. When the dye is dry, I stick some non-slip tape. This may help to keep the TV set at the right angle. In fact, it's some leftover from the non-slip tape I put on the steps at the cottage. And now that the support and the TV are at the cottage, I just need to install them. When it's straight, it's time for the rest of the screws. Then René and I can put the TV in place. I just need to screw both nuts and we're done. After hooking up the wires, we can finally watch our favorite shows even at the cottage. Hi, on the woodpecker today, I'm going to show you from A to Z. As you can see, it doesn't take much to make a wall TV stand, some wood lying around and some scrap plywood. As for us, we'll see each other soon for another episode of The Woodpecker at the Cottage. Thank you.